Let's take a look at how to compare metric units by multiplying. A piece of wood is one decimeter long. Are seven pieces of wood longer than one meter? Well, the first thing we need to know is the relationship between a decimeter and a meter. So we need to know that one decimeter is one tenth of a meter. So you could write that as a fraction, one over 10. You can write it as a decimal, write one tenth, 0 0.1, right? One is in the tenths place. All right, so if a piece of wood is one decimeter long, that's 0 0.1 of a meter. If we have seven pieces of wood, are they longer than a meter? Well, to figure out the length of all seven pieces, we would take the length of each one, which is one tenth of a meter, and we would multiply that by seven. Well, seven times one is seven, seven times zero is zero, and since there's one digit after the tenths place here, there's gonna be one digit after the tenths place in our answer. So that means all seven pieces of wood together are 0 0.7, or 7 tenths of a meter long. Okay, well 7 tenths of a meter is smaller than one, right? We could say 0 0.7, that's in between zero and one, is less than one meter. So no, seven pieces are not longer than a meter. A table is nine decimeters wide. Are eight tables wider than eight meters? All right, well, let's think about this. We said a moment ago that each decimeter was one tenth, right, 0.10 of a meter. So if we have nine decimeters, well, we can multiply that by nine to see how many meters that table is wide. Okay, well, nine times one is nine. Nine times zero is zero. There was one digit after our decimal point here, so there's gonna be one digit after our decimal point in the answer. So if a table is nine decimeters wide, that's the same thing as saying it's 0.9 of a meter. Well, if there's eight of them, right, there's eight tables, and each one is nine tenths of a meter, let's multiply that by eight to see what our width is for all eight tables. Okay, so nine tenths of a meter each times eight, since there's eight of them, and let's see what that gives us. Okay, well nine times eight is 72. So we're gonna write the two, carry the seven. Eight times zero is zero, plus the seven is seven. And there was one digit after the decimal point here. So there's gonna be one digit after the decimal point in our answer. All right, and we get 7.2. So that means all eight tables together are 7.2 meters. Okay, so is 7.2 meters, is that wider than eight meters? Well, no, 7.2 meters is less than eight meters. So we're gonna have to say no. A juice box weighs eight grams. Do six juice boxes weigh more than one kilogram? Well, first of all, we need to know the relationship between grams and kilograms. Okay, there are a thousand grams in one kilogram, or another way to say that is each gram is one one thousandth of a kilogram. Right, so you can say one one thousandth as one in the thousands place. So tens place has a zero, hundreds place has a zero, thousands place. So one gram is equal to one ten thousandth of a kilogram. Okay, so if a juice box weighs eight grams, okay, well if each one gram is one ten thousandth of a kilogram and we have eight of them, 
well, we can just multiply this by eight to get how many kilograms that is, right? Eight times one is eight, eight times zero is zero, eight times zero is zero, right? We're gonna keep getting zeros, eight times zero is zero. And there were one, two, three digits after our decimal point here. So one, two, three of these digits are gonna be after the decimal point in our answer. So each juice box is eight grams or 0 0.008 of a kilogram. Do six, do six juice boxes weigh more than one kilogram? Well, you can probably already make a guess at this answer. If each one is 0 0.008 or eight one thousandths of a kilogram, well, if I multiply that by six, it's, no, it's gonna be nowhere near one kilogram. But of course, we can check it out and see what, see what that gives us. If I multiply eight times six, right, that's gonna give me 48. So I'm gonna write the eight, carry the four, Six times zero is zero, and the four makes that, right? We've got four. Six times zero is zero. Six times zero is zero. And since there were one, two, three digits after the decimal point here, one, two, three of these digits are gonna be after the decimal point in our answer. So 0 0.048 or 48 thousandths of a kilogram is definitely gonna be, right, that's our our volume for all, or our weight, sorry, the weight for all six juice boxes, well, that's definitely going to be much smaller than one. So, no, the six juice boxes do not weigh more than a kilogram.